ڈرائنیس Dry eye is said to be one of the most common disease with which the patient visit an ophthalmologist. So if we go by the definition, as according to TFOS, that is Tear Film and Ocular Surface Society, <coughs> the dry eye is a multifactorial disease of the ocular surface characterized by a loss of hemostasis of the tear film and accompanied by ocular symptoms in which tear film, instability and hyperosmolarity ocular surface inflammation and damage and neurosensory abnormalities play etiological role. So here you can see there are, it's a multifactorial disease. There are numerous factors that we already know that they cause the dry eye both evaporative as well as aqueous deficiency type of dry eye. As you all know autoimmune diseases, arthritis, chronic use of topical drugs, they all are known causes of dry eye. Now to this list, recently the vitamin D deficiency has been added, but a casual association is yet to be established. This study was carried out to establish an association between dry eye and vitamin D deficiency. Objectives to correlate prevalence of vitamin D deficiency in all the dry eye patients visiting the IOPD and to correlate prevalence of dry eye in vitamin D deficient patient diagnosed in medicine and orthopedic department at tertiary care center and to determine the association between dry eye and vitamin D deficiency. Methodology after taking the ethical ap approval from the institutional ethical committee and consent from the patient, informed consent from the patient, total number of 101 patients were enrolled in the study and divided into two groups. Group 1 where all the vitamin deficient patients referred from orthopedic and medicine department who are subjected to various diagnostic tests in the IOPD for the dry eye. In this group the prevalence of dry eye was calculated. Group 2, all the dry eye patients diagnosed in the IOPD who were subjected to serum vitamin D level measurement and in this group prevalence of vitamin D deficiency was calculated. Then the association between the two was calculated using the chi-square test. Exclusion criteria, children below 18, pregnant, postmenopausal women for obviously the estrogen and hormonal association with the dry eye, history of any refractive ocular surface or intraocular surgery, chronic use of any eye <coughs> drops, pre-diagnosed ocular surface disease or contact lens users, they all have been excluded. And the criteria chosen for the diagnosing dry eye, they are the Schirmer test, tear breakup time, ocular surface disease index and fluorescent staining score. Any patient having one out of these four tests were labeled as dry eye. The Schirmer test record, uh, uh, measurement has to be less than 10 millimeter of the strip, tear breakup time less than 10 seconds, OSDI which is a questionnaire based score that is it has to be less than uh, sorry more than 12 and the fluorescent staining score which is about like the ocular surface is divided into five zones and it has to be not more than 15. And criteria for diagnosing vitamin D is by using chemiluminescence immunoassay and uh, the levels less than 12 nanogram per DL were labeled as vitamin D deficient. In group 1 out of 51 vitamin D deficient patient, 10 patient that is 19.6 fulfill the criteria for dry eye and in group 2 17 out of 50 dry eye patients had vitamin D levels less than 12 nanogram per, per DL sorry. And we observe a significant association between vitamin D deficiency and dry eye having p-value less than 0.01. So these are the results showing 
in the vitamin D uh, non dry eye subset and the dry eye subset in the vitamin D deficient deficient group so here the levels of vitamin D are less than 12 nano uh, mg per dl and the tear breakup time and the Schermer score and all the criteria they are falling into the dry eye and then the non dry eye subgroup there is a uh, def uh, sorry vitamin D deficiency and So here I would like to just say that uh, the deficiency, vitamin D deficiency uh, subgroup had a dry eye patient which are 10 in number out of 51. So in the other subset where the dry eye patient of vitamin D deficiency uh, versus non-vitamin D deficiency subset, here the non-vitamin uh, D deficient patients in which uh, we see we said we had seen that almost everyone they had the dry eye symptoms the criteria used for the dry eye they had been positive in that case association using chi-square test the p-value came out to be less than 0 0.01 in this discussion uh, since we have evaluated the prevalence of dry eye and vitamin D, it came out to be 19.6. The uh, uh, population in uh, in the population of vitamin D deficiency, the prevalence of dry eye was 19.6, and the prevalence rate was much higher in the vitamin D deficiency in the other studies where it came out to be 74 percent, which is not in accordance with the, our study. In another study which had comparable result to our study, prevalence of dry eye in vitamin D deficiency patient was reported to be 10.3%. In study population of dry eye patient, it's group 2, the prevalence of vitamin D deficiency was 34%, which is comparable to the study done by Zhang C.H. et al., where it was reportedly 41% of dry eye patient had vitamin D deficiency. So we found a significant association between vitamin D deficiency and dry eye in this study. And the limitation of the study was the cross-sectional design, which preclude any conclusion regarding the casualty. And the severity of dry eye was not correlated with vitamin D levels. So dry eye and vitamin D deficiency have a positive correlation. However, all the dry eye patients do not have vitamin D deficiency. And all the vitamin D deficient patients do not develop dry eye. A casual association between vitamin D deficiency and dry eye need to be explored. So we warrant further study to see the effect of supplementation of vitamin D in dry eye to see whether it is a casual or association or not. References. Thank you. What are the functions of vitamin D uh, in helping the, or you can say, that it helps in dry eye management. What are the functions of vitamin D? So it is likely to be the, to the goblet cell uh, concentration on the conjunctiva. So they are, uh, vitamin D is helpful in that. And so the hormonal disturbance, be it vitamin D, be it uh, other hormonal thyroid disease and uh, these um, estrogen level, they all are known to cause the goblet cell density, uh, decrease in the goblet cell density. Uh, in, in, in the study, it has, it has also been seen that it works as a, uh, the inflammatory markers, reduces the inflammations also. Uh, so now the this we have little refined tests like lectopherin measurement in the tear mm -hmm. film, they are also coming up, so. Uh, okay.